For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11, New International Version. Once upon a time, three little trees stood dreaming of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree said, I want to hold treasure. I want to be filled with gold and precious stones. I want to be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree said, I want to be a mighty ship. I want to travel the vast oceans and carry powerful kings. The third little tree looked around and said, I don't want to leave this mountaintop. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they'll, they'll raise their eyes to heaven and, and think of God. Years passed, the little trees grew tall, and then one day three woodcutters came to the hill where the three trees were growing. One woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, this tree is beautiful. I should be able to sell its wood to an excellent carpenter. And as he chopped down that first tree, it whispered to the others, ah, now, I will be a beautiful chest. I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter sized up the second tree and he said, this tree appears strong. I should be able to sell it to the shipyard. And as he chopped it down, the second tree whispered, ah, now I shall sail the seas. I, I shall be a strong ship for mighty kings. The third tree felt its heart sink as, as he noticed the woodcutter looking his way. The man didn't even seem to notice how beautiful and tall he was. He just muttered, any kind of tree will do for me, and with a few chops, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop, but the carpenter just cut it up and made a feed box for animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took it to a shipyard, but the once strong tree was hammered and cut and chiseled and nailed and made into a simple fishing boat. The third tree cried when the woodcutter sawed it into strong beams and left it in the lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree moaned to itself. All I ever wanted to do was to stand on a hill and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their childhood dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the old feed box. And suddenly, the tree knew that it was holding the greatest treasure this world has ever known. A few years later, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat one evening. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree took his cargo out into the lake. Soon a thundering, thrashing storm arise, rose like one that the tree had never seen before. The tree shuddered and groaned, but the tired man slept on. Finally, the tired man awakened and he stood up and stretched out his hands and said, Peace, be still. And suddenly the waves stopped. And suddenly the second tree knew that it was carrying the king of heaven and earth. Then one Friday morning, the third tree was startled when its beams were yanked from the forgotten wood pile. It flinched as it was carried through a jeering, angry crowd. It shuddered when soldiers nailed a man to its beams. 
It felt ugly, harsh, and cruel as the man agonized and died. But on Sunday morning, when the earth trembled and the stone was rolled back from the nearby tomb, the third tree knew that it had lifted up the Son of God. Deep down inside, that tree realized that from now on and forever, it would indeed point people to God. No matter how things look at first, remember that God has a plan for your life too. Each of the trees really got what it wanted most, just not in the way or the time that it had imagined at first. O oh Lord, thank you for the dreams you put in our hearts, and thank you for doing what's best for us, even if it isn't just what we had thought we wanted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.